Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, hello, how are you? I'm fine. Is everything? Oh, yeah. okay, okay, you're welcome, that's okay. Ya todo listo, listo para iniciar la clase. Yes. Okay, yes. <laughs> okay, that is really good to hear. All right, uh, gracias por, por estar super puntual. All right, so thank you very much uh, for being here. Uh, espero que los demás nos puedan acompañar as well. All right, and uh, well, first of all, vamos a trabajar ahora con un poquito de pasado, right? Vamos a eh, revisar verbos en pasado de forma positiva o negativa as well. Eh, ¿Cómo va con los verbos? Ya se puede un par. Do you know a couple of them? Um, sí, algunos, algunos. Uh, ¿Ha estado practicando? ¿Have you been practicing? ¿Los ha estado memorizando? ¿Or something? Sí, te, tenía como 50 o 60 verbos la vez pasada que medio me quería aprender, pero por ahí vamos. Ah, ok, really good. ¿Y, y, y qué pasó? ¿Se los logró aprender? No, no todos. Lo que pasa es que, que los tenía en todos los tiempos, como un montón de tiempos, entonces en pretérito pasado, no sé qué, y todo eso. Entonces, ah, ok, ok, well, los más importantes son tres, right? Eh, present, past, and past participle. La lista que le compartí tiene de hecho los tres, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, está el significado también. Espero que les sea eh, útil, right? I really hope sí. it can be quite useful. Los estuve viendo. Uh -huh. Hay también regulares, irregulares. So, vamos ahora uh -huh. a ver cuál es la diferencia, right? And, uh, pero, pero sí, en general es cuestión de, de aprendérselos, right? Sí. So, if you do that, ya está set, ya está todo listo, right? Hello, Juan Carlos, how are you? I'm ready, teacher. And you? I'm great. Thank you for asking. Are we ready to start the class? Uh, yes, teacher. Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay, so let's get started. Eh, le voy a compartir mi pantalla here. Allow me just a second. All right, so I am going to share my screen para que lo vean ver like some of the of the things that we are going to be doing today. Okay, just a second here. Okay, here we go. So, hello, just a second. Okay. Uh, Mayra, hello, good evening. Hello, um, teacher. Hugo, hello, how are you? Is everything good? Hugo, Mr. Alvarenga, hello. Okay, okay. Uh, very good. Ah, okay, there you are. Okay, there you are, excellent. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the activities that we will be doing today. So this is by the end of the class, you will learn. Uh, let me a second here. Okay, so at the end of the class, you will learn uh, how to form positive negative statements in simple past using regular verbs. Vamos a trabajar con ambos, right? So we are going to work with regular and irregular verbs. Y vamos a practicar a conversation here, okay? Uh, first of all, Eh, le, le preguntaba al inicio a Yadder si ya se había memorizado algunos, right? Si ya se sabía algunos verbos, well, re, regular, irregular, etc. Mayra, hello Mayra, tell me, what about you? ¿Ya se puede un par? Ay, teacher, ahorita acabo de ver el teléfono y vi que lo había compartido. Ah, okay. Pero mañana me pongo el día. Excelente, ok. Ya, yeah, la idea es que usted se lo vaya aprendiendo poco a poco, right? That is ok, no problem. Ok, so first of all, let me um, share a little conversation that we have right here, ok? And uh, this one is, it says like simple past, ok? First, vamos a practicarlo. We are going to repeat the conversation, ok? So everybody, uh, please help me uh, and let's repeat it. So we have Robert and we have Alice. And Robert says, hi, Alice, what did you do last weekend? So let's repeat. Hi, Alice. Hi, Alice. What did you do last weekend? What, what did you did do, you last, do weekend? last weekend? 
I did a lot of things. I, I did, did a lot, lot of things. Of things. <laughs> on Saturday, on Saturday, on Saturday, I went shopping. I went, I went shopping. shopping. What did you buy? What, what did you buy? buy? I bought some new clothes. I bought, I bought some, some new clothes. clothes. I also played the tennis. I also, I also played, played tennis. tennis. Who did you play with? What did Who you did you play, play with? with? I played with Tom. I played, I played with, with, Tom. with Tom. Did you win? Did, did, you, did you, win? you win? Of course I won. I of course, course I won. I won. What did you do after your tennis match? What, what did you did do, you do after, after your tennis, tennis match? match? Well, 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 I went home and took a shower and then went out. I went home, I went home and took a shower, took a shower and, and, then and then went, out. went out. out. Did you eat in a restaurant? Did, did you eat in a restaurant? In a restaurant? Yes. My, yes. My friend Jackie and I ate my at friend, the Good Fork. My, yes, my, my friend, friend Jackie, Jackie and I, I, I ate like oh, in I the Good Fork. And Robert says, great. 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 Okay, first, what we will do is this. I want you to identify the actions, okay? I want you to identify the verbs that you see right here in the conversation, okay? Que verbos logran identificar? Which verbs do you see here? Está do. Okay, do. Ding. Ding. Did. did. Um, está. Go, go. Why? Uh, I'm sorry. Quit, 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 quit. Okay. What? All right, let's take a look. Uh, so we have in the first sentence, we have uh, did, that is an auxiliary. We have the verb do. In mm -hmm. the second sentence, we have did. And then we have went. When? Okay. So went is un verbo pasado, which is the verb in present. ¿Cuál es la forma de presente? Go. Thank you. So go, go. and went. Okay, then we have in the next one, buy. All right que es comprar, right? Buy. Y and then in the answer, we see I bought, yo compré. So bought es la forma de pasado de buy, okay? Buy and bought. Then we have played, okay? If you pay attention here, le agregamos ed, all right? So this is a regular verb, okay? Le agrego ed para hacerlo pasado, all right? Then we have this question, who do you play with? ¿Con quién jugaste? I played, el verbo en pasado, all right? I played with Tom, okay? Then we have, did you win? Tenemos el verbo win, yeah? Of course I won. So won is el pasado de win, all right? Uh, then we have, what did you do after your tennis match? And again, vemos el mismo verbo, I went home. Yo fui a mi casa. I went home and took a shower, took. ¿Cuál es el verbo en presente? Where is the verb in present? Volunteers, a shower. Cuando hablo de tomar un baño, what is the verb in present? Take. 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 Thank you. El pasado es took. Take and took, okay? And then went out. So again, tenemos go out, went out, all right? Then we have this one, eat, all right? Did you eat in a restaurant? ¿Comiste en un restaurante? Did you eat in a restaurant? And the person says, Yes, my friend Jackie and I ate. Ate es la forma de pasado de eat, all right? So I ate, yo comí, all right? So if you pay attention here, tenemos un par de verbos. We have a couple of verbs, okay? And uh, first of all, I want you to please take a picture, okay? Let's take a, a picture. Let's take a, a, or a screenshot, okay? And we are going to uh, write a couple, oh, allow me a second, sorry. Okay, and we are going to write like some examples, okay? 
We are going to write a couple of examples here using these verbs. First of all, let's go for the positive form of the verb, okay? I am going to share my screen and I need your help, please. Necesito que me ayuden con los verbos. Which verbs do you remember? For example, acabamos de ver do, all right? ¿Cuál, cuál otro? Which other do you remember? Go. Did, did. Thank you. Go. Did. did. Okay, que es el pasado de do. So we have did. Go, el pasado dijimos que era. When. 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 Thank you. I have played. Y el pasado es. Play. 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 Okay, just with ED right here. Okay, thank you. Then we have other. Eat. Eat. Thank you very much. Oh, allow me just a second. This is not different color. Um, all right, a different font. So eat y el pasado is eight. Eight. Okay. Eight. okay, so eat and eight. eight. Como el número ocho, all right? Eight. eight. Okay. Another one. We have win, for example. Se nos quedó uno por ahí. El pasado de win is? One. One. Thank you very much. Okay, so how, okay, um, what is the use of these birds? Why are they so important? This is present and the other one is past, okay? So it is really easy, okay? What we do is to talk about past activities. Vamos a hablar de lo que hicimos yesterday, de lo que hice ayer, de lo que hice last Monday, last Tuesday, el año anterior, last year, okay? So what is the structure? It is really easy. We have a subject, we have a verb, of course, este verbo en pasado, okay? Subject, verb, complement, and period, and that's it. So this is the structure. So whatever we, uh, whatever we say using simple past, we have to follow this structure, okay? So let me give you some examples. I can say, for example, I did, I is the subject, did, sería el verbo, all right? I did my homework. Yo hice la tarea. I did my homework. Yesterday, el día de ayer, yo hice mi tarea. Yes? And that's it. Subject, verb, and the complement. Y le agregamos sometimes, eh, el, en qué momento lo hicimos, right? Like yesterday, two days ago, on Monday, on Tuesday, etc. Let's take a look at go, all right? So, como es pasado, I, ya no digo I go, sino que cambio el verbo. I went to the beach in December, okay? Oh my, oh my God, I went to the beach last year, all right? So, I went. Estoy haciendo el cambio de verbo. If you pay attention, la oración es lo mismo. The only thing that we do is cambiar el presente por el pasado. Are we good? Do you have any questions? Hello, everybody. Gracias a los que se nos acaban de unir as well. I see Carolina, eh, Mr. Pineda, Alfredo, CCNN. I cannot see your name. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, well, something happened there. <laughs> I couldn't listen to to the person's name, okay? Uh, I see also, let me see. I see there, Beatriz, hello. Gracias por unirse tú. Okay, now let's take a look at this part. The only thing that we will do right now is escribir un ejemplo. We will write an example utilizando these verbs. One, two, three, four, and five. Questions. Alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? Como hacerlo? Or are we okay? Okay. So if no questions, le voy a dar dos minutos. I will give you two minutes. Okay. Escribamos un ejemplo. Write an example. O pensamos en un ejemplo. All right. Y lo compartimos en un par de segundos. If, si lo quieren compartir en la sección de chat. Uh, be my guest. Okay, so you can definitely do that. All right. Two minutes. Questions, please. If you have any question, let me know.
Hello, hello, are we finished? Do you have the examples? Ya los tenemos. Teacher. Hello, hello, Beatriz, tell me. Mm. Lo que yo he comprendido, lo voy a decir. Sure, tell me. I did my homework yesterday. Okay. No, 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 I did my home yesterday. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I didn't get this part right. So you said, I did my, como hice la tarea, I did my homework I like do this. A, I, I do a teacher. No, 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 your, your example is good. I did my homework yesterday. This is okay. This is fine. I, I went. I went to the beach in December. I went to the beach in December. Yeah. So it's yo fui a la playa in December. Okay. Usted lo puede cambiar, right? You can change it. Lo puede cambiar. Like, I went to the beach uh, last week. Fui la semana anterior. Fui right. en um, enero, por ejemplo. So you can change it. It is okay. Ahora, I do, I do visit. Cinemark today. Como quiero decir que yo fui al cine, so ir es el verbo go. Voy a utilizar el pasado de este verbo para decir yo fui. So I Compa. went to the movie theater. Yes. Entonces, yes. Voy a poner, I go. Y, no, okay. Okay. Give me your example. I go. I go visit Cinemark today. This it? Uh -huh. It's in the mark. Okay. Um, okay. Let, let's take a look at this. First of all, we have two verbs. Okay. Normalmente no podemos tener dos verbos solitos like this. Um, ¿Puedo dejar uno? I can leave one. I can leave this one. Um, I go to, I go to Cinemark and it's okay. But I go is como una rutina. All right. Yo no estoy describiendo ayer. Si quiero describir lo que hice ayer, I come, I eliminate, go, y utilizo el pasado, that is went. I went to the movie theater yesterday. Okay? Y ahora sí ya es pasado. All right? So the only thing that we have to do is this little change. Solo es un cambio de verbo. All right? Y de y presente si ha pasado, un cambio de tiempo. Eh, y, si digo, y si yo digo, I go... Dry my car. Uh, remember this. <coughs> Utilizamos un verbo, right? ¿Cuál es el verbo? Yo manejo o yo I conduzco drive. la motocicleta. I drive my oh. motorcycle, for example, yeah? But let's take a look at this. One more time. Drive es el presente, yeah? I drive mm -hmm. my motor... Well, en todo caso, eh, drive, para motorcycle, y si, pues, el, estamos la ride. Pregunta, La pregunta sería, yo voy okay. en, en mi carro. Okay. Siempre tendría que poner en drive. I drive, okay, I drive my car. Yo manejo ah, okay. el auto. Pero drive, eh, one more time, Juan Carlos, es presente. Ajá. No estamos haciendo cambio de verbo. Entonces, so what do I need? 
a will can do the present el pasado. El pasado de drive es drop. Y ahora sí, oh. yo manejé. I drove my car. Yo, oh. Yeah, this is past. Okay? okay. Are we good? Thank you, teacher. You are welcome. Okay, everybody. So what we will do is this. Vamos a hacer grupos. Okay, we will make groups. Eh, help each other. Ayudémonos mutuamente, right? Correct each other. Si tenemos preguntas, please, hagamos todas las preguntas que sean posibles, okay? Eh, para que no nos queden dudas, all right? Estamos en la sección 4. This is part of uh, section number 4. Los ejercicios son bastante parecidos a los que tenemos acá, okay? So, intentemos practicar cuanto podamos. So, we are, um, I am going to make the groups right now, okay? So, please, everybody, unámonos a las sesiones, okay? Get in the groups. In practice, and share your examples, okay? Compartámoslos. Share your examples. Hello, hello. Hello there. Yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, I went to the um, no, I played soccer in my school yesterday. Mm -hmm. I eat, eat, creo que it's uh, the last Monday. I won cooking prize yesterday. No sé si está bien. Okay, está bien. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's yeah, great. Está. Very nice. Mm -hmm. eh, solamente you. el eat, que sería el eight. Ajá, eight. Solo... eight. Es que no sé eight. cómo se pronunciaba. Mm -hmm. Como el número ocho, when you say el número uh -huh. eight. Yeah, so ah, it is the same. Okay. Exactly. Eat becomes eight. Very good. Los mm -hmm. demás, what about the rest? Mm -hmm. Beatriz, hello. Hello. No se preocupe, Beatriz. Ahí estaban los, los verbos en pasado. So if you pay attention to let me share my screen. Okay, mm -hmm. si le ponen uh, atención acá. So if you pay attention here, acá ya están Beatriz. So presente, pasado. El que me va a utilizar es el segundo. Yep. Mm -hmm. so, go went. Si me quiere usar go. Ya no me lo use, ahora use me went. Es lo mismo, pero en pasado. Play, use me played. Eat, use me ate, ok, que es eh, comí, alright, como el número. Win, won, alright. So, acá están. Y aquí, y aquí ocupé how. Oh, have. El pasado es had. So, usamos estos. You can use this ones. All right. So, tell us, Beatriz. Share with us. Comparte con nosotros. Para I do visit. Que me dijo que le pusiera did. I did. I did. I did. Today. Sería I went. 
Uh, I went, yo fui, right? I went. Like, uh, okay, let me show you this. Ya le entendí, dice, ya no voy a usar go, voy a usar fui. When? Like, like this, for example. I went to Cinemark, okay? I went to the movie theater. Exacto, solamente el cambio de verbo. I so, went to a play. I, I went, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, very good, exactly. I have full. I have. I have full. Buy. I have buy a tooth in a dog. Like, ha comprado un perro? Is that what you are trying to say? I'm sorry, can you repeat, please? Zapatos. Que compró zapatos. Ah, ok. So, el pasado de buy, you are right, no está acá, it is not here, ok. So, el pasado de buy is bought, ok. So, buy, the past is bought. So I bought a pair of shoes in a dog, in a, a dog, right? That's okay, that's all right. Look, recuerde esto, depende del verbo. Si usted me va a usar go, lo cambia a went. Si usted me quiere decir, por ejemplo, yo comí, El verbo comer es eat. El pasado se convierte en ate. So, hace un cambio de tiempo, all right? Pero no va a usarme siempre el mismo verbo. Depende de qué usted quiera decir. Por ejemplo, comer es eat. Tomar algo de beber es drink. Entonces, ese verbo lo cambió pasado. All right? Ajá, teacher. Entonces, yes. puedo decir, puedo decir que he the ball. Uh, supermarket. I went to the supermarket. When? Yo fui al supermercado. I went to the supermarket. Okay, okay, very good. That is all right, very nice. Now let's listen to Carolina right there, okay? So, voy a visitar los demás grupos. Escuchen a Carolina, please. Help each other, all right? Y si tenemos más preguntas, okay. las resolvemos en un par de segundos, all right? Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. Ya le aprecio la ED. Ah, oh, siempre me aparece así. Solo I dance. dance. I, I dance, dance in the party. Ajá. Uh -huh. Se lo copio para enviar. No, yo bailé en la fiesta. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yo bailé en la fiesta. Esto es... Hello, hello. 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 hello ah, hoy sí ya me. Ya, eres, ya me eres, al final. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> hello. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo, teacher, ¿cómo se dance en presente y en pasado sería dance? Solo se le agrego, ya, yeah, solo le agrego el sonido de una T, like a Dance. I dance. Y agregándole una T. Uh -huh. Dance. 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 I dance. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Exactly. I dance. Very good. Yes. I dance in the party. Uh -huh. Okay, good. So tell me, what did you do? Um, for example, let's take a look at... For example, let's take a look at the first one that is... Uh, went. Okay. Donde fueron? A donde han ido? Where did you go? Where did you go yesterday? Where did you go last week? Where did you go last month? Yes. Um, yesterday, I went to my work. All right. Really good. That was, uh, okay, okay. What about uh, after work? Where did you go? ¿A dónde fue cuando salió de trabajar? Where did you go after work? After work. Uh, um, I went to Plaza Mundo. Ah, okay. You went to Plaza Mundo. Nice. Leah, what about you? Where did you go yesterday? Uh, 
or where did, did you go on Monday or on Tuesday? Hello, hello, Leah. Oh, I guess we are having some technical issues with Leah right there. Okay, so allow me just a second. Uh, hello. Oh, hello. there you are. Okay, hello, hello. <laughs> All right. So tell I us. went to the, the supermarket. Oh, okay, yesterday. Yes. Okay, what about Sunday or Saturday? Where did you go on the weekend? On um, the full fin de semana, where did you go on the weekend? I went to the party of the Sabrina country. Oh, okay. You went to your nephew's, eh, la de cumpleaños, a birthday party? Birthday, sí. Ah, okay. So you went to your nephew's birthday party. Great. Very good. Really nice. Okay. <laughs> that is quite fine. So let's continue practicing, okay? Voy a regresar a los demás grupos and... Si tenemos preguntas, let me know when we go back, all right? So, continue okay. practicing. Hello. Oh, hello, hello there. How are you doing? Uh, working. So, tell me, um, so far, ¿cómo vamos? Do you have an equation for me? ¿Lograron practicar? Did you get how to use simple past? ¿Comprendieron cómo, cómo utilizarlo, cómo hacer el cambio? Or are you having difficulties? Are you with me? Sure, tell me. I want a lot of money. Este, gané mucho dinero. Pasado. Yes. I want a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, very good. I, I win a lot of money. Yo gano mucho dinero. Presente. I win. One. Ah, sí. Es que no puedo, no puedo la pronunci pronunciación. Ah, no, no te preocupes. Estás haciendo bien. Lo que pasa es que win. escuché un one. Ajá, win. No, es win. Ok, es bien. Thank you, teacher. I, 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 I drove my car. I drove my car, yes. I drive my car. Every day. Eh, eh, I went to to a supermarket one more time dígamelo una vez más i went to supermarket i went to the supermarket market market perdón 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 i went to the supermarket i went to the supermarket mm -hmm. i go i go to supermarket okay Sería, el, me está diciendo la oración en presente y en pasado, ¿verdad? So, I go to the eh, supermarket every day and I went to the supermarket yesterday. Sí, Juan Carlos, it's good. good. It's really good. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Okay, uh, thank Vicky, you. hello, Vicky. Tell me, give me some hello. examples. Mm, quiero ver. Ay, quiero ver ese día. Déjeme ver, estoy viendo los verbos. Sure, sure, no worry. Es, yo, I, I got, I got eh, my work yesterday. Okay, so, uh, usted camina, I'm sorry, o usted va, I didn't listen to that. Can you repeat, please? I got my work. Yo voy, yesterday. I go. Yo voy. Okay, ¿cómo sería? Ayer, tengo que hacer el cambio del verbo. Go, el pasado es? When. Ayer. Yeah. When. Exactly. One more time. En, we, we can... Entonces. Mm, sería won, won, won. Went, went. Went. Ah, go, yes. go es presente. Teacher, sí, sí. Me, me oh. confunde este participio pasado y pasado simple. No, no, no. Ahorita estamos con pasados. Los, los participios no los hemos visto. Está ahí solamente oh. como causa la eh, Teacher. extra information. Tell me, Mayra. Creo que, eh, Entonces sería, I went my work today. Fui a mi trabajo hoy. 
Pasar. I, yeah, sería exactly like that. Let me share this. I went to work. Uh -huh. Yo fui al trabajo. I went to work. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. ¿Cómo, cómo? I went. Uh, right here, Vicky. I went to work. I, uh, I went to work mm -hmm. today. Oh, just. No, well, pero uh, todos pasado. aplican, all of them apply. Ahora en la mañana, I went to, um, I went to my workplace, okay? Uh, oh. What I worked, okay? And I went to work today morning. Ahora en la mañana, today afternoon. So sí aplican porque ya terminó, right? El, el, la mañana ya terminó. So that is all right. That's fine. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Um, are we good? Give me one more example, please. Um, I I play mm -hmm. I play soccer um, I play soccer Okay, I play the soccer, that's okay One more, una más um, I have or is hid uh, I had, yo tuve, I had. I had. Mm -hmm. um, I had. Uh, tiene que ser un objeto, puede ser, uh, yo tuve un gato. I had a, a cat. cat. Yeah, no, that is perfect. That is okay. I that had is quite fine. a cat. Yes, very a good. Cat. Exactly, exactly. That is good. That is really good. Okay, very good, everybody. So, eh, allow me just a second. Vamos a volver a la conferencia principal. Okay? So, and if you have questions, podemos revisarlas uh, y compartirlas con el resto, right? So, really good job. That is quite fine. Thank you, teacher. Hello, Edwin. Hello. Hello there. Hi, everybody. ¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? How was your practice? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? ¿Había algo que no lograron comprender? Is there anything? ¿O todo está bastante bien? Did you practice enough? Sí, la solo la práctica falta para... Para aprendernos los verbos. Uh -huh. Tengo una consulta. Uh, yes, Car Carolina, tell me. Este, en el caso del verbo, porque como nosotros hicimos las oraciones que en base a los verbos que nos enviaron, ¿no? pero quisimos hacer otra de ah, que usted nos envió, sure. pero tenemos duda aquí con el, con el verbo, con el verbo este, el be. ¿Cuándo vamos a ocupar el was y cuándo vamos a ocupar el where? Ok, sure. De hecho, eso lo vamos a revisar el día de mañana, ah, all right? uh -huh. Porque no los quiero confundir, all right? I don't oh. want to confuse you. Yes, y necesitamos uh, okay. like, una clase completa to practice it, ok? Uh, uh, yes, no worries. Ok, but eh, con esos de acá, with the ones that we practice, Carolina, eh, ¿todo bien? ¿Is everything good? Uh, sí. Sí, ok, perfect. Now, es que, y si yo digo, I have... I have uh, my car. Oh, I have car. Okay, I have is yo tengo. Ah. I have is yo tuve. Ah, correcto. Mm -hmm. I have a car. I have I a blue have, car. I have a car or I have car. Sure, pero depende ah, okay. qué es lo que usted quiere decir. Por okay. ejemplo, si hace dos años yo tuve un auto negro, I had a black uh, car. Okay. Si yo tuve un carro verde, I had a, a green car. Okay. So have es que ya no lo tengo, que okay. yo lo tuve. So that is pretty much it. Now let's take a look at this. I want you to uh, follow me right here. We practiced positive sentences, diciendo las cosas que hicimos, ¿ya? Yeah? And if you remember, para indicar lo que hicimos, hacemos un pequeño cambio de verbo, yes? So I have just a little something for you. And I want you to pay like a lot of attention here. For example, les quiero contar lo que yo no he hecho eh, o lo que yo no hice el año anterior, okay? Last year, I, I didn't, uh, allow me a second, 
I didn't go to the beach, okay? Let's didn't, let's year, I didn't go to the beach. Last. Usted no fue al mar, usted no fue al mar. Exactly. Last year, I didn't, okay, play soccer. Este año sí, but last year, I didn't play soccer. Okay, last year, I didn't eat healthy food. This year, oh, un poquito, ya yeah, como more healthy food. But last year, no lo hice, okay? Take a look at this. Normally, we use in positive sentences, usábamos solamente subject, verb, complement, y hacíamos un cambio con el verbo. Now, in negative sentence, this is really important. Number one, voy a agregar didn't, okay, or did not, que es la forma negativa, and the verb, but this verb, this verb, exactly, tiene que estar en la forma base del verbo, sin cambio, sin S, sin pasados, ok, that means, para negativos, voy a usar, vuelvo otra vez, a la línea número uno, I didn't do, I didn't go, I didn't play, I didn't eat, ok, so for example, if I want to talk about today, ahora no almorcé, I didn't, Y quiero decir almorzar, that can be have lunch, no almorzé, I didn't have lunch. Ahora no trabajé, today, I didn't, I didn't work, no trabajé. So if you pay attention here, el verbo va de forma positiva, right? So, the, I mean, uh, la, en la forma base, all right? So with no changes, no lo cambiamos. Are we good? Mm. A little bit. So, Pero está hablando, teacher, del presente. ¿Por qué no cambia el verbo si es pasado? That is a really good question, Vicky. Uh, the answer is very simple. Cuando yo tengo auxiliares, como en este caso did, yo no puedo cambiar el verbo. Si ustedes se recuerdan, cuando usábamos does, does your mother play, no le cambiaba, mm. y no le agregaba s, ya, al verbo. Cuando yo tengo did, es lo mismo. I cannot change the verb. No lo puedo cambiar. I cannot do that. Pero didn't me dice que eso es pasado. All right? So, esto, uh, solo por verlo, yo sé que es pasado. But sí. el verbo no se cambia. Exactly. Didn't is an auxiliary. ¿Ya? Yeah? So, Pero solo en negación. Solo en negación. En la positiva, you remember, ni lo vi, ni lo usé, ni nada. Right? No, eh, negativo, sí tengo que. Podría decir yo, podría decir yo, I did uh, dry today. Sí se puede, pero yeah. no acá porque tiene un, un uh, objetivo específico cuando usted dice I did dry. Pero lo van a ver más adelante, all right? So, ah, sí okay. se puede, but not here, okay? Uh, por el momento no me lo uso, all right? Don't use okay. it that way. So, let's take a look at this. What I want you to do is this. Hagamos un listado, like, really quick. The cosas que no hicieron ahora. What is something that you didn't do today? Maybe you can say, no trabajé, I didn't work, right? Or we can say, no eh, almorcé, I didn't have lunch. Eh, no, I don't know, no hice la tarea. I didn't do my homework. No revisé mi Facebook. I didn't check my Facebook. So, hagamos una, una lista de cosas que no hicieron, all right? Si tenemos preguntas, remember, tenemos un área de chat, eso lo pueden compartir ahí. De hecho, I saw that some of you habían compartido algunos ejemplos. Like, for example, I won a cookie prize yesterday. I did my dinner yesterday. Oh, that would be a maid. I went eh, to work today. I ate pizza. So they are really good. Ahora compartamos un par con negativas, ¿ok? Cosas que no hicieron. Things you didn't do today. Les voy a dar tres minutos. I will give you three minutes. Ok, recordemos que el verbo ya no lo cambio, all right? And si tenemos preguntas, eh, raise your hand up or eh, escribámoslas en el chat, all right? Tres minutos, three minutes. Estoy por acaso, let me know if you have questions. Juan Carlos, tell me. 
teacher, I see, teacher. I did, uh, I did go to the bank. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't go to the bank. Well, I see. Of course, ah, exactly. Okay. Eso okay. es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita, right? Hacer un par de ejemplos. So, make your own examples de cosas que no hicieron ahora, all right? So, you have, well, you have two more minutes. Two minutes. Write them down.
Hello there. I, I was checking your answers and they are really good. Really good job. So I can see, for example, I didn't check my email and I didn't work. I didn't talk my, to my boss. Okay, very good. That is pretty nice. Oh, I see. I didn't buy a pizza and I didn't call my mom. All right. I didn't go to church. I didn't get up early. Very nice, Mayra. Okay. Nice. That sounds great. Okay. So, very good. That is actually, um, yeah, that is correct. That is quite fine. So, they are really good examples. I didn't make chocolate bread. They are really good examples, everybody. So, Okay, excellent. So you get this really, really fast. I am really happy um, that you understood the topic um, really quick, all right? Now, uh, so for you to share, para que podamos compartir as well, eh, vamos a unirnos al mismo grupo. We are going to get together in the same group. And please, practicamos positivas, negativas, agreguemos más, all right? So you can add tantas como podamos, right? So I will give you, solamente vamos a practicar por tres minutos, okay? So aprovechamos el tiempo, take advantage of it, and let's go ahead now. Teacher. Hello, miss, tell me. Este, en, en positivo, en pasado, cuando se cambia el verbo, eh, funciona el mismo, ya sea plural o singular. Eh, el verbo no sufre mayor cambio. Si usted ya lo cambió a pasado, hasta ahí se queda, ya no hay más. Ya ese funciona para todas las personas. Sí, es correcto. Si usted ya dijo, por ejemplo, eight, usted me va a usar el mismo para todos. I, she, they, todos. Ah, ok. Ya no hay cambio. Ok, you're welcome. Ok, everybody, please, unámonos a la sesión para que puedan practicar, all right? Beatriz, let's join your group, please. Hello, Beatriz. ¿Qué tal, Beatriz? ¿Cuál es eso usted? Yo solo hice. I didn't have a breakfast. Uh -huh. No desayuno. Ajá. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't... No sé si pongo go o tú ahí. I didn't go walk. Eh... De caminar. ¿Ah? Sí, puede ser. I didn't walk, walk. to work, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. I didn't drink coffee today. Ok. okay. I didn't eat sleeping. <laughs> No dormí en el recreo. 
Solo que uh, habría que agregar, I didn't sleep. Hello, hello, thank Great. you. Uh -huh. Okay, really good, actually. Yeah, eh, como lo menciona, that is quite fine. So I didn't sleep, quizás during the, the break time. Okay, mm -hmm. durante, so I didn't sleep during break mm -hmm. time. Okay, are you a teacher, Beatrice? Hello. Hello, are you a teacher? No, I don't. No, what do you do? What do you do? I cashier. Ah, ah, okay, okay. Because you mentioned break, you know, recess. Solo se me ocurrió el, el recreo de la escuela, right? Okay, mm. that's why I was asking. Okay, okay, very nice. That is quite fine. Excelente ejemplo. Really good. So, sigamos practicando, all right? Eh, regresamos en un minuto, pretty much. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, yo tengo... Entonces, eso es lo que estamos hablando. I didn't... Study English. English. Sí, porque yo lo hice casi estar... igual, pero yo lo puse I didn't I did, study. I didn't. No estudié. I didn't study. I didn't, ajá, study. I didn't yes. study English. Mm, I didn't. I didn't. No, y si quiero decir hoy estudié, es, estudié inglés, es estudié. Rec hoy estudié. Que, recuerde lo que le mencioné, Juan Carlos. Ajá. Que... Si es positivo, si usted lo hizo, no me le va a poner dio. Me va a cambiar el verbo, right? So, va a buscar ah, el verbo okay. study y me lo va a pasar, poner en pasado. I studied English. De lo contrario, no me le pone dio, a menos que sea negativo, ¿ok? I didn't study English. Ay, no, okay. Right? Uh -huh. So, eso es pretty much todo. Uh -huh. I didn't study English. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, very good, exactly. That's the, the part, ¿ok? Ok, so, well... Volvemos a la, a la sesión principal, please. Let go back. Hello, hello. Hello. Thank you very much, uh, everybody. Um, all right. I was listening to most of you practicing. Uh, por ahí se me quedó un par, but um, I really hope you were able to practice. Uh, no sé si tenemos preguntas. I don't know if you have like any question or anything. En, si encuentran algo, si revisen algún tutorial and uh, lo encuentren útil, lo pueden compartir en el grupo that we have, right? Uh, you can share that with the group. De la misma forma como les compartí los verbos, hagamos el esfuerzo por memorizarse al menos eh, cinco verbos diarios, ¿ok? Regulares y regulares para que les dé mayor vocabulario. Eh, antes de irnos, before leaving, do you have any question or is everything good? Um, yes. Beatriz, Mayra, eh, Alfredo. Yo tengo una pregunta. Este, yes. En el pasado, cuando el verbo es con tercera persona, ¿es normal que con primera no se le agrega ese como ve con el normal? Y, well, de persona? hecho, eh, en pasados no hay mayor diferencia con tercera persona. Es el mismo verbo, ya no hay ningún otro cambio. Cuando usted dice, por ejemplo, eat y luego lo cambia a eight, Ya, ya fue todo el cambio, ¿ok? Ya no vamos a agregarle algo más. No, that's it. I ate, Mayra ate, Juan Carlos ate, Vicky ate, eh, Hugo, Carolina en Vicky ate. So, ya va el mismo verbo, ya va conjugado, so ya no va otro cambio, ¿all right? Okay. So, ¿all right? So, gracias. Si ya no hay, you're welcome. Si ya no hay más preguntas, Gracias a todos. Thank you very much for joining. Nos vemos el día de mañana, all right? Y aprenderse esos verbos, all right? So, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Thank you, teacher. teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you.